So Shaylin is out for a little bit, and we have our friends from Spooky Dudes uh, podcast coming and joining us today to talk about movies as well. Shaylin is, as you know, opened up her restaurant and it's doing fantastic. And she's like 500 weeks pregnant. So she's busy. Um, so we'll have guests in and out. So I'm Shay. Oh, I'm Corey. Hi. <laughs> that was my cue. I'm real bad. <laughs> and this is Shay Scare Lounge. So today we did, um, we're doing Resurrection that she that's c that's pro you got the poster right behind you and glorious green yes. screen <laughs> um now you picked this movie have you seen it before so when i picked it i had watched about two-thirds of it okay i i have two uh small kids so i basically can never finish a movie in one sitting sure. um, no me too i understand so the, the movies we watch are typically like at night and uh, both my wife and I work, you know, regular daytime hours. So we usually fall asleep about 45 minutes into every movie and pick it up again. <laughs> yes, I understand that. We do the same thing at home. And I just am usually pretty ADD about stuff. So I'm like, oh, I'll pause this and I go do something else and I come back to it later. So totally understand. Um, so what did you think of it? Oh, overall, I, uh, I don't necessarily want to say I enjoyed it because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of, you know, it's a it's a pretty weird. heavy. It's a it's yeah, weird. It's a weird movie. It's real heavy. Uh, it's pretty dark. Um, but I think it was really tense and, and suspenseful. And I just had no clue what was. I still actually I think we're going to have to unpack it and figure out. Yeah, what I have no I idea know. what it's about. I got to be honest because um so you mentioned it and i was like is this the correct movie so i look it up and i'm like okay and i read like what it says it's about or whatever yeah and it's like uh her, she's running from her past and her patch ca- past comes catches up to her and it mentioned like shadow something and i was like oh maybe it's like supernatural or whatever and right. i watched it and i was i'm very confused i <laughs> yeah yeah Okay, right. so it's about this woman, Margaret, who has an eight, 17-year-old daughter who is a total pain in the butt. <laughs> and so some guy from her past she was once with, I'm confused on parts of it because I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't relate to the character in any way because she seems like put together at the very beginning. She's running. It made me want to run. I'm very susceptible to subliminal messaging. So I see her running through the whole thing and I'm like, I should go running. She's a, I won't, but I she's should. a, she's a track star. She is Seriously. just hoofing it through the you know, entire good, movie. Just yeah. always running. She has some like trainee temporary person and mm. she unloads this graphic re- story on her, but he, she didn't tell anybody else that's close to her about this story or any trauma she had in a previous relationship which i thought was weird yeah um it does take a really hard turn once um uh tim roth shows up uh it becomes like essentially a different movie right i guess we don't really have a plot before that no she just seems like an office uh, a lady who's very professional and works in an mm-hmm. office and like you said she's well put together and you know seems a little uppity and then all of a sudden she's like freaking out having a panic attack because uh yeah you know tim roth david shows up mm-hmm. and the story yeah the story kind of came out of the blue and it was it was a funny parallel and not funny but <laughs> the parallel between the girl telling her the story of what seems definitely seems like an abusive sort of relationship right not a physically abusive but this no it's like emotionally like mentally abusive like a narcissist or something yeah. so she was able to get out of that relationship and, and good but then she the margaret unloaded this massive story yeah and it's just like i don't understand <laughs> the story goes she was 17 and he was an older man, he was probably like 10 years older than her, 20 years older than her. And he got in good friends with her parents. And then he started dating her. And then he kind of like took over her life and her parents left 
her with him because then she was 18 and she ended up getting pregnant with him and so she was very you know he didn't want her to have the baby like he said he forbid me to have the baby mm-hmm. not sure if he really understood that you can't do that it's just gonna happen yeah so then they, they come has, from somewhere there is a process that goes into it's just it. it yeah so <laughs> You can't just go, okay, I'll keep it in there. No, it's not like that. Um, you stay, you stay. So she has this boy, Ben, and she thinks he's the next best thing to slice bread. He's the most amazing thing ever. She's yes. in love with him beyond anything. And then she leaves David, who is the dad, with the baby, and she goes, runs an errand or something, comes back, and essentially he kills the baby and told her that he ate him. Right, left like two fingers on the counter. On the table. Or something, yeah. Like, Why didn't you call the police? Why were, was there no police involved? I, I, I have questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you just went with what he said. So he somehow disposed of the body, of the baby. Mm-hmm. And then he said that it's in his tummy. And what? Yeah. <laughs> it's so this weird. is where... I have a really hard time with the rest of the movie because he spends all this time like convincing her that the baby is in him and yeah, he's obviously just gone. Like either he believes his story or he's going to such lengths to make her believe it to keep him, to keep her with him. It's nuts. Sort of the, the biggest problem I have with the movie is like, if you're going to make a movie like um, uh, Mother, for example, right, mm-hmm. which is none of that stuff is is happening, right? Like the, everything right. you're watching is sort of a parallel to something that happened in the Bible, right? It's not. Okay. None of these events are actually taking place. It's all just sort of a, a dream or metaphor or something else. Or you have a movie that's like um, with The Night House, another Rebecca Hall movie, which I loved. I thought it was an awesome movie. And there's stuff where you're like, is this really happening? Or is she freaking out and imagining it? And it answers those questions. This one doesn't. Did not. It did not. Because there's a part. Frustrating. At the, the only time I realized that she started having hallucinations was when she went to kill him on the bench. And she sees him there, but then he's not there. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's not real. But then I'm like, are you imagining the rest of it? I mean... That's that's the part. There's no satisfaction for the viewer. No. There's just no. I don't mind. I don't want everything like info dumped, but right. like I really don't know what happened. Um, I know it never answers those questions, and I'm okay with never answering those questions if you're really like all in on it. You know, you really commit to that dream mm-hmm. fever dream thing and go for it. But this, it was like. I, I want to know, like, was that baby really there? Was right, you know, what really happened? And, and he, <laughs> you know, so she ends up confronting him in a hotel room, which none of that seems like a good idea, but you know, right, whatever, you get on with your bad self. And she like has knives strapped to her, like, this was her way of fighting him. Was she pulls a knife, like, she has not taped to her arm and her leg. He puts up a fight, not a great one. And she ends up gutting him. Yeah. And then somehow miraculously a baby comes out. Yeah. Did you for, okay, for a minute there though, <laughs> did you not like, she's, she's eviscerated this man. He's, he's right. you know, strapped to a bed, eviscerated with a mm-hmm. serrated kitchen knife and she's pulling his intestines out. Did you for a right. second go, she's just going to keep pulling guts out and be like, oh, it's all been a dream, you know, or something. Right, that's what I told you. But then she pulled the baby out and I was like, okay, hey, what, what in the Mary Poppins bag is going on that you randomly pulled a baby out of this very thin man? <laughs> I did I did love that scene, though. Like, like the, the whole, as weird as it is, the whole hotel room scene I thought was, like, really well done. It's just... Again, you know, I guess the movie challenged challenges you to a point, but it just never. I don't know. I needed more information. I need um yeah cliff. Yeah, notes. you don't get a payoff at the end to go, oh, you don't have that. You're just like, wait, 
what? I don't understand. So then she's at home with her daughter. Her daughter had run away from her. And so now all of a sudden her daughter is there. Now this is where I think this whole scene is not, is in her head because it's so bright and right. off focused. It has a soft focus going on. So I'm like, this is the fake scene. This is not real. And so she has the baby and she hands the baby to the daughter and she's all happy and glowy. And then we pan to just her and it gets a little bit darker and then it's done. That's it. Yeah. The, I mean, the only, <laughs> the only clues in that, that final scene, like you said, the soft focus makes you think this isn't really happening. Right. And then I think the focus starts to come more in like as the camera zooms in on her face she gets more and more serious like she looks all yeah my baby and then the camera zooms in mm-hmm. and she starts looking more mm, and and i think the <laughs> soft focus kind of goes away yeah so, and then it dims the whole room dims yeah so i don't think that, it, i don't uh, think that baby was there that's you know right but then did she kill him though I guess I, she's I, in prison I, or something, you know, she, they came in and, and busted her and she's sitting beside this, you know, pile of guts and, and Tim Roth and uh, crying, holding an invisible baby, I guess. Yeah. That's where I get confused. Cause then I'm like, wait, what is, what is the aftermath? Like you, did you really kill him? Like, and if you was, did, then why were you not arrested in any way, shape or form? I, like it yeah. should have had something else behind it. Like after that, it should have like maybe the entire scene changed to where she was in a prison or in, you know, in the hotel room, just covered in blood with no baby. Like something to make me go, oh, okay, that was fake. Yeah. Or some, I don't know. What do you think the chances are that the whole thing was sort of just like, just to talk about the commentary on the gaslighting and, things you know like what? that i can say, i would say okay yeah that could have because he got her to do a whole bunch of stuff and he yeah, calls it the kindness or whatever you do me a kindness and yeah whatever now i think it's also like she was groomed since she was 17 right to obviously like he he knew what he was doing in a sense but then when the whole thing turns that he's like oh the baby is living in me do you hear him then I'm like, wait, is he all there? Because up until this this point, I was like, he seems like a methodical, creepy like guy. And now we're just we just dumped it, we jumped the shark, and I'm confused. I don't. Yeah, part know of me where it went. thinks he wasn't there ever. Like, because why would he be at that super boring conference? Right. Like. Okay. Just okay. out of the blue. And she happens to see him and then runs home and and maybe because maybe she was triggered because her daughter is leaving. Right. Because her daughter yeah. was going to school. Yeah. So then it triggered she didn't have her baby anymore. So she's now her other baby is going away as well. So maybe maybe there's I mean, there's like really nothing to explain it. <laughs> well, there's nothing to like tether any of the stories about the guy david that that did all these things to her there's nothing to tether him to well no there is this scene where it shows her back and her back's scarred up and stuff and i guess we can assume she was abused by david right right i mean a really quick maybe, scene yeah and i think you know this was 22 years later after yeah. she got she left him after you know he ate her baby <laughs> except those two fingers those two fingers were just too much apparently he was so full except for the two fingers that were just right there he's like oh i can't finish they're this big i don't if you're going to go with it go with it i don't even know no thanks i can't stand another finger no no (laughs) i'm watching my cholesterol i'm so full i can't even oh i don't think he ate him (laughs) I uh, he just said he I know you're like I think he did. <laughs> I I don't I don't well there's that one scene we get a couple of really good jump scares too. There's a, a scene bit. where she's sort of hallucinating and she goes over to the oven and opens it and then you see like smoke coming out and then it's weird baby. <clears throat> there's my baby face. <clears throat> baby in an oven face. That's it. 
Yes. And I was just like, what is going on? The other yeah. scene with the lady at the apartment or, or hotel or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Holy she cow. Like Russian or German. She had some lungs on her, that woman. <laughs> get out, get out. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was perfect. That was that was a perfectly plotted uh, jump scare. It was really yes. good. But yeah. <sighs> I, don't, I still don't know what the heck happened in the movie, though. That's the Yeah, I think that bothers me the most. That I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. It's got um, 81% on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? That's that's from the critics. The audience scores 46. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. And I think probably a majority of the goodwill is because of Rebecca Hall's performance. Like she's, I think she's awesome. Just the story yes, is I, sort I, of yes. all over the place. The whole, yeah. It, it's mostly like the story. And I love Tim Roth. I like him in whatever he does. Yeah, he's really the only person I knew. I didn't know anybody else. Have you seen the Night House that that movie she was in in twenty twenty? Mm. Highly recommend it. That movie's fantastic. Yeah, I know who Tim Roth is. He's been in a bunch of stuff, you know, like Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, and so I know who he is. Yeah, but I didn't know anybody else in the film. I just I just knew the two of them, and I'll, the only thing I knew her from was the Night House. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really know anybody else. The there's a subplot about the cheating, uh, the coworker. She's kind of banging on the side, and yeah, the whole thing was all over the place. I mean, did they cut stuff out and it was supposed to explain things? Because then the coworkers in love with her. I'm like, really? Because she's kind of she's gone. She's just gone that you had to do a weird intervention with her daughter <laughs> she I, I guess she just i don't know it's sort of hard to nail this movie down i guess she just like held on to this sort of like stuffy office thing as long as she could and that's when yeah. she unraveled was after what'd you say 10 20 years it's supposed to be like 22 years later like that's you know that's a lot of stress that can build up in that amount of time and can really break somebody, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't even know what she did for a living. She just had a, an office and people she, you know, the guy she was, you know, having sex with, he worked there. And then the little girl who was like an intern or something. And I, I don't know what they did. I don't know what her job was. <laughs> Some kind of biomedical tech company she see i thought she was an hr person at first because this girl's you know kind of spilling her guts about the boyfriend and stuff but hey, right i don't know but it was know, maybe sort of- the maybe that maybe her talking to the girl about her being with a narcissist triggered and then her daughter's leaving i don't know it was so much that i couldn't i can't wrap my head around how we got from point a to point z yeah there was a whole bunch of, I, I couldn't do it. I was like, I don't, someone explain it to me. Cause now I'm confused. I don't even understand. So how do you want to rate resurrection? Do you want to, uh, like, what's, what do you want to use? Let's see. We're going to go one through five, but like, should we do, I don't know, ba- babies? Baby fingers? Do baby, baby fingers? <laughs> how many baby fingers do you give it? I'm gonna give it three out of five baby fingers, but really only, only, only. I'm I'm a I'm a softy. Okay, first off, I'm I'm real soft on movies, but <laughs> only because uh Rebecca and I just clicked a different tab and forgot her name. Rebecca Hall. Sorry, mm-hmm. Rebecca. Uh she just acts the wheels off of everything. Everything she does is just and, and I I was stuck. I was glued to it like what the heck's gonna happen next. But as far as like a, an overall movie, I don't, I'm not going to recommend it to people, but I do think it is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking myself down to two. It's, it's cool. I give it one out of five. Ooh, I'm a little harsh because okay. I was watching it going, how long has this been on? It's only been 20 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. I kept pausing it to see how long it was. I'm like, how long is this? How much more time do I have to watch this movie? I was, I couldn't. It was it was hard. It was a hard watch. Yeah, it's not I fun. Thought. Like you know, it's not a fun movie. 
I should have picked Monster Squad. That's what I'm thinking because that that movie's pretty easy to explain. <laughs> yes, that is a fantastic movie. I love that movie. Wolf Wolfman's got Nards. That's all you got to know. Yes, that's the best part of the entire movie. <laughs> is Wolfman's Got Nards. It's beautiful. That is all right. If you've seen any of our episodes, we we picked some winners to watch. So we did was House. It? That was fantastic. You House? That movie? House. Yeah. Um, with uh, William Cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that yeah, movie. Yeah, it's horrible. Horrible. What? <laughs> like, you watch some movies and you're like, that stands the test of time. This one didn't. This did oh, not. Oh, man. <laughs> I love I House. I watched it and it was like, wow, I don't remember some of this. Yeah, but I for mean, whatever reason, in my head, I was like, that is a greatest movie. The the rose colored glasses really help. Uh, I watched uh, I Know What You Did last summer um, mm-hmm. when it came out. And I was like, oh, yes. God, this is so scary. A hook guy, you know. And then uh, we, my wife and I watched it a few years back. And because uh, we were kind of on the scream and like, you know, nineties, nineties, two thousands slasher kick. And man, it is not that good. <laughs> like uh scream, scream is sort of like up here. And I think we mm-hmm. all may maybe maybe we put it a little too high to be honest. But like in comparison, I know what you did last summer. It's they nowhere tried. Near. They tried. Uh-huh. I think it's hilarious that you brought up Scream because Jaylen tries to work sh- Scream into like every episode. Scream. She will perfect. It was perfect. So <laughs> she will. Yeah. Well, she hey, will throw it in there. I, I I didn't even know that, but somehow my spirit, you know, connected. Right. And... With that, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, like, subscribe, share, do all the things, and you can listen to Spooky Dudes. Uh, podcast everywhere podcasts are i'm sure and any other website or whatever uh we are currently in between uh websites uh, okay then never mind <laughs> but yeah there's a bunch of there's a bunch of old episodes out there uh you know you can find them through apple or or spotify or whatever um sure. been on a bit of a hiatus since january trying to bring it back up uh but it is slow going so there'll be new stuff on the horizon Oof soon before the end of the year for sure awesome so until then bye till next time i'm not used to the video thing (laughs) it's cool okay so i got a face for audio (laughs) podcasting so